Yeah. And we have a very big topic for today. We, we've got an exciting one. We're going to make a definitive list of the 10 tricking commandments. Yeah, I'm really excited to get into this because there's there's definitely things that I think are really, really important, but you probably don't give a fuck about. So I, yeah. think, I think we might bump heads on a couple well, of these. Well, we're going to have to debate them out. We're going to have to like refine yeah. what are the 10 tricking commandments. So if you have any suggestions for tricking commandments, the most important things, the rules you should follow when trying to be good at spinning kicks and flips, <laughs> then about. drop them in the comments. Yeah. Um, All right, first one. First one. I think first one we can both agree on an easy one that we've talked about before that's essential for everyone trying to get good at tricking is believing that you can get good at tricking yeah, slash believing in yourself slash self-confidence all of that I mean that can be one commandment you could yeah. say self-confidence if you don't think you can get good then how are you going to put in all the work to overcome all the things you need to to get good you have to believe that you can get good as a starting point it's also broader than that because if you're training with people and you're constantly like oh no it's too hard i can't do that then it's going to affect all the other people that you're training with True. and but if you're constantly like nah i can do it even if everyone's like he's a madman it does rub off on other people because <laughs> i know me trying things when it was way too soon made you look at me and yeah. go well i want to fucking have yeah. a piece of that i saw him in this this twat couldn't <laughs> couldn't do a cork and he's trying double cork <laughs> but it actually meant that he was progressing really fast even yeah. though he slamming even though he looked stupid oh, I thought he was again. stupid and I let him know <laughs> daily how stupid he was it, he still got better he was improving at a faster rate than I was when I was at that level yeah. so I was like damn I can take something from this maybe believing that you can do things even to the point where you're kind of deluded yeah is yeah. a benefit I think being delusional is a key factor but that all kind of comes under self-belief okay yeah so second, that's an easy one. Next one. Second one. We'll, we'll stay on the theme of like actual training things. Mm. And I think it's just work ethic slash working smart. I think you need to work hard in order to actually get good at these flips. I don't know. What? You, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't mean necessarily doing the most flips. It depends what you mean by work hard. But that's why I said it's working smart. Because it depends what you mean by working smart. Well, not doing things that are stupid. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of trickers who do stupid things who get really good. Okay, true. Bailey Payne. True, but I think it's more, more on the side of like, oh, but he's a good example because he does do stupid shit that puts him in there, danger. It's just there's lots of people who don't, and they don't have to have the work ethic of like, I'm going to get up and try my best even when I don't want to. There's some people who are very good because they're just in the right environment where they're just having fun and they just get good. Yeah, but that's you, you have to work hard. You, you still don't have, have to work hard. You're doing something that's fun. Yeah, but it's still hard. It's still a lot of work. You can call it whatever you want. It's a lot of something. Or play. It's a lot of play. Okay, or play hard. Then. I mean, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, just getting, do it a lot, I guess. You are right. It, it depends. It's, per, it's a person-to-person -person thing. Because <laughs> I don't think anyone who starts at like in their 20s gets really good at tricking just by like having fun and just doing tricks. They kind of have to put in work outside of that for conditioning and stretching and looking after their body. Mm -hmm. But if you start when you're like 13 and you have a good gym to train at, you can kind of go and just mess about, have fun doing tricks and get really good if you do it a lot. Like there's no, True, but there's no discipline. You don't, you don't necessarily need to be disciplined, I don't think. Mm. I agree, because all the things that I'm well, because I wanna I wanna push back, but it's more on the along the lines of things well, that are aren't that important. A simpler one. You have to trick a lot. Trick often. Mm -hmm. That would be still, a key thing. Still, like think of all the people that were incredible, like a lot of the European trickers that only trick like once every but few they weeks. Did, they didn't though, did they? No, well, but they, they did though. I don't think the when they were getting years. good, I think just in the later years. I think to actually get good, then you have to trick a lot. I think at some point they all tricked a lot. True, true. But Yeah, I'd say I'd say that's a, a I mean, that could be commandment. One. Yeah. Commandment number two. Trick a lot. Also, also keeping it simple. This is in no particular order. As yeah, well, yeah. Because it's not. Yeah. All oh, right. Next commandment. Next commandment. What do you think? Um, thou shalt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, thou shalt not. No, thou shalt watch tricking. Mm. I don't think you get that good if you've never watched tricking. Like you need to be inspired. You need to understand techniques. So you need to have at least watched tricks to have some understanding. I think maybe in the past. 
maybe in 2005, 2006, yeah. you could get good without, because you could like figure out your crazy way of doing cork. But when you get to like this, in this day and age, if you want to be doing the hard tricks, you have to, you have to be watching other people and studying, because how, you're not going to land like a quad just by chance. You have to kind of know what you're doing. Yeah, I guess And a so. quad's just an arbitrary, arbitrary like, example, example yeah. but of a well, hard thing. But you need to, for any advanced move, you need to somewhat know what you're doing. Whereas in the past, you didn't need to know so much because they weren't, the moves weren't that hard. Yeah. I... But, so is this just for when you're getting good? The, yeah, these are the commandments to get to a decent level okay, of tricking. Okay, okay. These are the things you, ha you have to do. You absolutely have to do. Okay, yeah, I that's think that's, I think that's a good one then. All right, thou shalt it, watch tricks. Thou shalt watch the, a lot of flips. <laughs> yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay, next one for me. Um, also, let us know in the comments. I'm gonna have a quick look, see what they're saying. Um, we got any good ones? No. No? <laughs> Great. Uh, Great. <laughs> no, okay. No. Right, lovely, yeah, so... We're, we're talking things you absolutely have to do to get good at tricking. Okay. I think, I think a good one... What? Train on multiple surfaces. But I don't think you absolutely have to do it, but I think it should be you in there. You should do it? Yeah. Just for your overall... Okay, I, I think there's a lot of benefits to that. Like, you might be thinking some people only train in the gym or whatever, or only train on grass, but... Most people have trained on different surfaces at some point. Well, Most even people have, picks. and trampoline as well. Most yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's part of being a good tricker is at least like you don't have to be amazing on concrete, but you should be able to do some stuff on concrete. Like if you can do a load in the gym, but then you're too scared to even do like a swing through on concrete, mm. then you're kind of not as good a tricker. Yeah, you're you should kind of have knocking, your, knocking yourself down a few pegs. Cause yeah, you should have that confidence to there's do There's definitely it. a level drop whenever you do stuff on concrete, because like I'm not doing the same flip, same tricks that I would in the gym on concrete all the time. Break but your legs. Yeah, it's, um, I think it is really important for overall awareness, mm -hmm. confidence, and general kind of, almost like a learning experience. Because when you do shit on concrete, you're like, oh, so this is how good I really am. And then you kind of take that into your gym training and all that kind of thing. Um, all right, next one. What are you saying? So we've got, um, well, the different surfaces could include trampoline. Or should that be its own one? Some people don't tramp, though. Some people don't tramp. Most of the best trickers have tramped at some point. Most of the people who improve really fast use a trampoline, or at least used one. Well, that's what a, lot of, that's what a lot of these comments are saying. Are they saying like... People are saying tramp, people are saying... Um, Thou shalt always tramp. Use tramp air track to... Why is this... So All right, I got one. I got one. Thou shalt bounce. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a trampoline, but bounce on something, you know? It could be, I don't know, you fat mate. Like, bounce on something. But something yeah. that gives... Rebound. Stop yeah. that. <laughs> I shouldn't lick my lips while I do that. Oh no. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not good for anyone, is it? Okay, so what are we um, having? So are we having that as an additional one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it, why not? <laughs> Alright. Thou shalt always bounce. Yeah. That's so what, what, that's number four. So we need number five now. Dilk said. What Dilk did Dilk, said what did Dilk say? Big uh, dirty deal. Thou shalt embrace solo sessions. I don't think that's a, a commandment though. I think that's a really good one. I don't think so. How, who, which, which really good tricker doesn't have solo sessions or hasn't? They all do. Think, think of the best of the best. You'll see, like, you'll see Alexander will be going in by himself. Shosei will go in by himself. Mike Guthrie used to go in by himself. For most trickers, what, what really good trickers never train by themselves? Does Shosei go in? Yeah, he, so, oh, yeah in no, some of his videos, you yeah, see him just by himself. Yeah, no, that's fair. I think that's a really good one. I think, I mean, you could, like some people could get really good just by like, look, maybe they have a brother who tricks or a really close friend who lives right by them or something. But if okay, you don't okay, have that, okay. you've got to be prepared to have solo sessions. Okay. I think everyone should be prepared. I think the embracing part of it yeah. is kind of, it's a weird one because a lot of people do have solo sessions, but they also complain about solo sessions. True. So like even, even the, Best people like I've which, well, I, which good trickers complain about solo sessions? Well, I, most of them just enjoy tricks. Well, you know, I think I can't remember who it was, but I know I've had a conversation with somebody at Hooked 
And I was really shocked that they just said they hated solo sessions. Ah. And I was really shocked. I can't remember because obviously our mom is and I don't remember things. But they still did them probably. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And I think the embracing is actually key. Because once you start to enjoy it, or once you can get yourself in the mind frame to enjoy it, it makes the whole process a lot easier. Yeah. And it makes you more willing to do it in future. But yeah, next one. Um, um. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing? Doug said, told you always, don't make me bed stink. 